Okay. We are going to go over uh, two assignments, one that you've done and one that you can do if you finish this one. But I want to make sure that you feel prepared and like you can get 100%. Um, when you do get 100% on this one, if that's today or tomorrow, make sure you take the quiz. Um, everybody is going to take the quiz regardless tomorrow because we're out of time. Um, but I really prefer that you get 100% before you take it. So let's do the assignment together. Okay. Come on. Got to plug these things in. Okay. Um, so, select the expression that makes the equation true. So, we have two different types of problems, multiplication or division. And so, you can write down multiplication implies that you add the exponents. And don't forget your integers. And if we have division, that would imply that you, we're going to subtract the exponents. Okay, so, <clears throat> so right now I'm going to add the exponents. So 9 plus negative 3. So this is the add, right? So my exponents are 9 and negative 3. So what's... 9 plus negative 3. What is that? That's 6. Okay. So right away I can cross out this one, this one. Look at that. I already know the answer. And um, the other thing we do is we multiply these numbers. So 9 times negative 2 would be negative 18. So, yep, it's A. Look at that. Just from adding the exponents, that's all I had to do. This is just an integer question. We'll see about the next one. Okay, this is a great one. Some people are getting stuck on it. How many times as large? So, so write this down if you wouldn't mind, because this is a key word you don't want to forget. That is division. Anytime we want to know how many times as large something is, we want to know the answer for times. In order to do that, we divide. And remember, we should have from the last one that divide means subtract the exponents, right? So we're going to subtract the bigger from the smaller because it says how many times larger is this than this. So my exponent, 7 and 3. So I'm going to do 7 minus 3, which is 4. And I'm going to look at my answers. Okay, so it's not C or D because those say 10. All right, so is it 3 or 27? Well, we're with the big numbers, just like in the first one, we divide, we multiply because it was multiplication. Here we're doing division, so we divide them. So nine divided by three is three. And that's gotta be the answer. Look at this, all right. Again, it says how many times is large? So I know I'm dividing, but I see that this time I have integer exponents. Okay, so this is a, this is how many times is large, so I know that's division. So now I'm going to subtract my exponents, right? I'm going to do 4 minus negative 5. And we know from 7th grade and current practice that two negatives make a positive. So that means it's 4 plus 5, which is 9. So again, see, this is not too bad because they only gave me one answer that has nine. And then eight divide and eight and the four, we divide those, which is two. And so definitely it's got to be D. Oh, how many times is large? Okay. So again, I'm going to subtract those exponents, six minus four. Looking right at the exponents, 6 minus 4 is 2. And then 4 and 1 are getting divided, which is 4. So that makes this answer 4 
times 10 to the 2. I've been not saying about the times 10, but that always stays in these answers. But you know, for this one, it's not going to let me put in uh, 4 times 10 to the 2. Because this is actually something we can simplify. 10 to the second is 100. And 4 times 100 is 400. So this would be 400. Da, da, da. All right. Okay, here we go. Division, straightforward division. They didn't even try to hide it. So I, there's my exponents, and I'm going to subtract them. Negative 1 minus negative 2. Subtract the exponents because it's division. All right, so two negatives make a positive. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. And then we divide over here the negative 3 and the negative 6. We divide those, and that's a 2. So now I'm going to take these, and I'm going to make my expression 2 times 10 to the 1. So this the answer over here is my exponent in the answer. And this is the whole number in the answer. And the times 10 is in every answer. But again, we can do the 10 to the first power is just 10. And 2 times 10 is 20. So after you get the answer, think about it, and you may be able to simplify further. All right, the last type of question on the quiz is one of these. So Quinn is trying to do what you're doing, but he or she made a mistake. So let's see what it was. Okay. So Quinn made this. Okay, so that's fine because the exponent one, two, three. So to move the uh, decimal place three spaces, and then have the number just be 2, you'd have to move it 3 spaces, which makes the negative 3 good. Okay, so then what did Quinn do? Multiply the numbers 3 times 2, so that's good. And then multi and then these two get multiplied, but we want to add the exponents because we're multiplying. So 4 plus negative 3 is 1, and so that's good. It all looks good. I'm not seeing the mistake that Quinn made. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Okay. A lot of questions here. All right. All right, so we're going to multiply. So we're going to add the exponents. So 3 plus 6 is 9. And then over here, we're going to multiply the numbers, which is negative 12, and put it all together for my final answer. Negative 12 times 10 to the 9. And that's A. My Zoom toolbar is in the way of my... Okay. I was like, am I done yet? I'm sure you feel like that all the time. I'm sorry. Okay, so 7 out of 7, I leveled up. I hope that you also level up. Um, <clears throat> so now I'm going to stop the video, and then I'm going to make a new video for scientific notation.